Hi, I'm David Bryan with TYNT Collections, and uh, it's good to be with you today. And I wanted to partner with Travis Housley with Save Toys, good old friend of mine, and uh, wanted to do a review of this Icons DC Comics Superman, one of my newest purchased collection items. So let's open it and get started. Okay, so we have him out of the box here. He comes with Calyx, his little um, Fortress of Solitude android, or as some have called it, a little butler. And uh, let's go ahead and pop him out of here. Calyx comes with a little clear stand for you to display him with. Sit that over here for a second. And pop him out very easily. All right, you just have this little stick here, and you insert that into the bottom of the Android, and then you're able to insert that into the stand, and you have very limited articulation with this particular figure. His head does move back and forth. and his arms move up and down. This move, this feels like it might move, but it's hard to tell and I don't want to break it, but that's, we definitely have a head that moves back and forth and arms that move up and down. And then he can pose directly onto his little display stand there. So that's Calyx. The Calyx figure. All right, so Superman does come with some interchangeable hands. Which are on a hinge. And then we have the man himself. The man of the hour. Superman has always been my favorite action figure. And this one in particular, I was really excited about when I found him at a local comic book store in the area because he is very poseable. And I like articulated figures, very poseable figures. And so here he is. And he has the yellow S on his cape. This is a rubber cape really nice. He's not a very tall figure, but he's perfect size, I think, for to go with my collection. Probably put him over here. He's a little shorter than your um, Man of Steel uh, movie fit characters. Okay, let's take a look at Superman's articulation. He has the ability to look down about that much, and then able to look up about that much, not quite as far as we'd like to get some of those flight poses, but pretty good. We'll talk about that in a minute, but we also have the ball hinged shoulders. Of course, they can go all the way around. And then you have a double jointed elbow, which is nice. And then you've got the swivel at the wrist and hinged joint at the wrist. And then you have a double ab crunch right here. You can see that's tight double ab crunch and it can also go back which further helps with some of those flying poses and then you have a uh, you do not have a swivel at the ra waist but you can you can swivel him at the rib cage there at that ab crunch quite a bit to the left and right that's good again the bicep swivel and double jointed all right then you have uh, the ability to do the splits at the bottom ball joint there a little bit of a gap here um, but he can go up about that much, which is not as much as you'd like, but also he does have the double jointed knees, which is very nice. You can get some poses there. No swivel at all in the thigh or boot, but or, or foot, but you do have the ability to get a good range of motion there and rockers, which go really far there. So a good overall good poseability for this Superman figure. Really pleased you can get him in some good poses as you'll see in the photo shots.